Recent devastating wildfires in California have left countless wild animals and pets severely burned. Veterinary hospitals and wildlife agencies have tried saving as many as possible, but some wounds are so extreme that vets have turned to unconventional treatment methods for answers. Enter Dr. Jamie Payton, Chief of the Integrative Medicine Service at UC Davis Veterinary Medicine Teaching Hospital. She was recruited by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife to help with pain management for two black bears and a cougar the agency rescued from the Thomas Fire in December 2017. The bears came to be known as the tilapia bears, thanks to an innovative technique Dr. Payton used to bandage their burns. That technique is using fish skin, tilapia to be exact, as a bio bandage to heal burned animals. But what can fish skin do that traditional gauze and ointment can't? If you look at the literature, treating wild animals that have experienced this degree of burns just hasn't been done. At least it hasn't been written up and shared with other people. The bear, I will tell you, is probably the one that really inspired me to look into the tilapia bandages because her wounds were so extensive and her pain was so severe. She was the one that, that made me say, you know what, I need to do something else. What else can I do? And I will make this work for her. Traditional treatments come with their own set of problems. Dr. Peyton knew her furry patients would try chewing through bandages, they would resist eating pain medication, and they could get used to captivity if healing took too long. So she opted for an experimental treatment that could solve these problems. Tilapia skin has been used on human burns in Brazil, but until now was never used for animals. It turns out there are many advantages to using tilapia instead of gauze. For starters, tilapia skin contains high levels of the protein collagen, which promotes tissue connectivity and growth in wounds. And it covers the exposed nerve endings, drastically improving pain levels. Gauze bandages must be changed every day to avoid infection and are painful to peel off of severe burns. <laughs> But tilapia skin is bacteria resistant and stays moist longer, making it much less painful to peel off. And when animals inevitably try to chew through their bandages, at least the fish skin is edible. People always say, well, you know, that's a wild animal, you can't do that, or you can't make that. And, and I say, you know what, where there's a will, there's a way. And medicine is always something where you have to push yourself to think outside the box. The tilapia exceeded all expectations. The bears and cougar were able to return to the wild in a matter of weeks, rather than the four to six months Dr. Payton originally predicted. California has experienced multiple wildfires since then, and Dr. Payton has been consistently called upon to treat burned animals. She applied the bio bandages to domestic pets for the first time in response to November 2018's catastrophic campfire. It was just as successful for cats and dogs as it was for the original tilapia bears. Nothing is more rewarding than when you take an animal that won't walk because she's so painful and we try a new therapy. I put this, those bandages, the tilapia skin on her feet and right after we got done and she woke up, she stood up for the first time and was able to walk. And the tilapia skin, in my opinion, is one of those things that, you know, people said to me, what, that, that doesn't make sense, you can't do that. And when someone says you can't, I always think to myself, oh, I will. And I'll make it happen because I'm just passionate about these animals and about helping them and allowing them to heal.